let's query the graph network for free. We'll start at thegraph.com. Go to products, subgraph studio, and upon signing up with the graph, we are given a free plan. The free plan gives us 100,000 free queries per month to query the graph network. We can find subgraphs on the graph network in the graph explorer. But before we go ahead and query subgraphs on the graph network, we need an API key. Let's create an API key here. With our API key set up, we are now ready to query the graph network with 100,000 free queries. We can find all of the subgraphs published on the graph network through the graph explorer. Let's go ahead and go there right now. Welcome to the Graph Explorer, where we can see every subgraph published on the Graph Network. The Graph Network includes many participants, but at its core are indexers around the world permissionlessly indexing these subgraphs. Indexers are incentivized to index these subgraphs by the GRT Work Utility Token. The more GRT curation signal is on a subgraph, the more likely multiple indexers will hop in and index that subgraph. Each of these subgraphs has organized Web3 data waiting for us to query. We can filter these subgraphs by chain, as well as search through these subgraphs too. For now, let's go ahead and pick a subgraph and dive into what it's like to query the subgraph for free. This is a subgraph's dashboard. We can go ahead and take a look at all of the different information on this dashboard, but the most important thing to note is the query endpoint for this subgraph. All we have to do is drop in our API key and we can start sending queries to this subgraph. But before we start sending queries, we should go to the playground where we can design some GraphQL queries. Test queries are designed on the left and we can run the queries by pressing this button in the middle. We could extend, alter, filter, and use logical operators on all of these different entities and fields on the right here. This is truly a playground, and it's meant to be a space where we can go ahead and play around with the different queries and see what data we can get back. Once we find a query that we would like to use within our application, we can go ahead and take that query and send it to the endpoint at which is at the top of the subgraphs dashboard. Now that we've gone over the API key, the subgraph playground, as well as the subgraph endpoint, we're ready to send a query to the subgraph from an application. Here's the query that we eventually came up with. It's a query looking for high volume and high TVL tokens on the Uniswap subgraph. But before we send this query, we're gonna have to go back to the subgraph's dashboard to get the query URL. Go ahead and copy the query URL here and we will paste it into our code editor as such. Finally, we're gonna have to go get that API key that we set up in the beginning of this video. Let's go grab that right now. Go back to subgraph studio, Go to our API keys, copy our API key, and drop it into our code editor. From there, we can run our code and get back the query's return. Great, there is our data. Go ahead and check the links in the description below to learn more about the graph and querying the graph network.